Begin with the length of the suspension just below your hip. Then move back. Take your feet shoulder width apart. Toes are facing forward, arms along, and commence squatting. As you squat, your arms stretch out. Your weight stays on your heel. Your back stays straight. And you come down as much as you can, depending on your flexibility. After 10 repetitions, begin to take your feet out a little wider. Toes point out. Make it a wide squat where you can feel it a little bit more around the inner thighs. Still, your arms are straight. And your weight stays on your heel. After 10 repetitions, turn onto your side. Just leave one suspension. Take the foot just underneath the strap and keep your hip and leg aligned. Turn the support leg foot a little bit away from the body. As you descend downwards, it's just a slight bend in your knee stretching the straight leg away so you can feel it in your inner part of your leg. After 10 repetitions, turn around, face the toes forward and do a one-legged squat. Your arms can stay either out to the sides, or if you like, you can take them down to your waistline. Whichever way you feel, you can balance better. The back leg lengthens a little bit, but your knee and ankle still stay in one line on the front leg. Let's change sides. Taking your other foot into the strap. Turn the support foot slightly and do a little bit of a bend in that knee. As you bend the knee, you're lengthening out the straight leg coming towards the camera. Your arms can either be on your waist or wherever you feel you can balance. Turning that around. Again, the knee and the ankle on the front leg, stay aligned. The arms can go either on your hip or out to the side. Keep the back leg a little bent, focusing on the front leg. Sitting backwards. Let's transition. As you transition, you're going to take the handlebar, move forward, and make your way with your feet together, leaning in, elbows are bent, straightening up the leg. And with the straight leg, you're squeezing the glutes upwards. Both legs are straight. 
maintain straight leg and maintain your posture. Once you've done 20 on one leg, bring that to the other leg. Keep the leg coming up tall and long, but keep the feet flat. Once you've done those 20 repetitions, move your way back. You're coming back into a narrow squat position. Squat down, but this time hop up. Squat and hop. 10 repetitions. A little bit of weight can go onto the handlebar to help with the squat. Make sure your knee and ankle stay aligned. And once you've completed the 10, come back feet together, bending over, elbows bent, support some of your weight on the arm, and then bend the back leg. The knees bent, the feet are flat, and again 20 repetitions pushing the heel towards the ceiling. Feeling that through the top of the back of the leg and your butt. Once you've completed that, go to the other side. Squeezing upwards your bottom, heel pushing upwards as though you're trying to push it towards the sky. But keep your hips aligned. Maintain that straight leg. And when you're finished with your 20, come up straight. Come back. Transition back to the squat, narrow squat position and begin jumping again. 10 repetitions. Once you've completed the 10, moving forward, we're going to make our way to the ground. As you make your way to the ground, take your heel just inside the strap so that your feet can rest on the handlebar. And when you're ready, you lift up your pelvis. Take your hands, flatten them to the floor. And then take your knees apart and together pushing from the heels outwards. You may be able to feel this to the outside of your leg on each side. Once you've done 10, Return to the floor and then lift your pelvis. Keep returning to the floor and lifting the pelvis. And pushing your feet onto the handles of the suspension. Keep the hands firm on the ground and the shoulders back. You should be able to feel it by now. Through the back of the legs. The higher your pelvis goes, the more higher you will feel it. Now begin to lift the pelvis and straighten the leg. Bend the knee, lower the pelvis. So as you're up there, you're holding the lift a little bit longer. As you're holding that lift, as your leg lengthens, you're still trying to maintain the lift. Ten repetitions. Keep the arms firmly on the ground. Ten. 
Imagine once you've done 10, release your legs. That completes today's exercise.